School starts in two months, but coronavirus cases are rising in Texas, and no one really knows yet what class is going to look like. Like many districts, Plano ISD is already preparing. Sarah Bosner is the superintendent there and joins us to talk about the direction she is taking with so much still uncertain. Good morning to you, Sarah. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thanks for being on here. We're less than uh, two months away right now from the start of school. The big question all parents want to know, has, has your district, specifically Plano ISD, settled on a plan to uh, restart classes? Well, first of all, we understand how eager parents and staff and students, I'm sure, uh, are, are preparing to think about what is reopening schools look like, and we certainly can can empathize with that. And so we, we have been working hard to develop plans uh, to try to figure out what that might look like for the fall. And we, we have developed some uh, tentative models uh, that we think would address uh, reopening schools safely. And like everyone else, we're in a little bit of a holding pattern uh, waiting for some additional guidance from the state before we can definitively say how school will start in the fall. And, and, so, and that's kind of where we are. The TEA is going to make a decision and tell districts like Plano uh, kind of how to move forward. Is that right? That is correct. I, that is correct. I, I want to ask you, you know, many classrooms and even buildings at schools and at campuses all across Texas aren't going to be able to accommodate social distancing. What are some options that you guys are considering at Plano ISD to make mm -hmm. the most use of spacing? Yeah, we, we've been in heavy planning modes around just that very question. Uh, of course, if, if we can do uh, certain ratios, we might be able to bring all kids back at certain grade levels. Um, and, and we want to try to have as much face to face as we can safely have, but understanding that uh, because of space and uh, staffing, if the parameters are that you can't bring uh, large enough groups of students back, then we have to look at alternate schedules where we wouldn't bring all the kids back every day. And so then you would want to bring you know, kids back as many times during the week as you could uh, in a rotating fashion to try to make sure everybody gets some face-to-face -face time with teachers. And then uh, some of their learning would happen uh, from home and so remotely. So when do you those are the models. Yeah, and when do you think that you, you, you might have a decision on, on how to move forward and might hear from the TEA? So we, we have reason to believe that, that perhaps by Tuesday, June 16th, we'll have an update from the commissioner uh, at TEA and that Commissioner Marath would give us some additional guidance on uh, what the space requirements might be for returning and also what the funding structures might look like for remote learning, should that be necessary. All right, sounds good. Uh, Sarah, I appreciate your, uh, your time. Good luck to you there at Plano ISD as we move forward with this. We appreciate it. Thanks so much. Thank you very much.